Hey guys, welcome back to Artosis Cast and the CNSL Season 7. Today, we are starting the Grand Final. 32 of the world's best players started this Season 7, and we're down to the top two players amongst them. We have Scan, the Terran player, Motive, the Protoss player, two guys on the brink of being in ASL every single season, going for this championship. Scan, a former champion of the CNSL. Motive has had some good seasons, but this is definitely his deepest. Looking amazing, both of them. It's going to be a best of seven. It's going to be sick. Let's go ahead, get this started. We're going to Citadel for map number one. Get yourself ready. In the bottom left, our Terran player, Scan. And in the bottom right, our Protoss player, Motive. All right. <clears throat> they both played amazingly throughout. Uh, Motive, I feel like we've seen a lot of his uh, Protoss versus Zerg specifically to get here, which, you know, a lot of times that's kind of like the harder match matchup for Protoss. So if they're getting through a bunch of those, you don't really need to worry about them too much. Uh, but Scan showed some of the world's best Terran versus Protoss games. Uh, they were pretty flawless. His match against Ruin was next level. Honestly, I feel like Ruin was one of the strongest players this season. I felt like he was playing like one of the strongest players this season. And Scan, Scan bopped him. So I'm actually favoring Scan for this series. But, you know, if Motive just busts out sick plays and <laughs> owns, I guess it is what it is. We'll see about that. Now, as far as Citadel goes, I personally like Citadel quite a bit for Terran vs. Protoss these days. Uh, as the metagame has evolved, it, it feels like a pretty comfortable map. Uh, but it feels like there's a lot of play all over the place. Really, any strategies can be utilized. So we'll wait and see uh, how Motive wants to end up playing that. <clears throat> and while we wait for this game to heat up, because as you can see, it's just like very standard openers. No scouting even going on as of yet. I want to thank you guys for checking out Artosis Cast. Another big thanks to Caster Muse as well. His links are below. Uh, for running this, of course, that is what the CNSL is, Caster Muse and Rock Star League. And uh, yeah, thank you everyone for following Artosis Cast, for checking everything out every day. You guys are the best. Uh, and there is a Patreon if you wanted to support in that way. It's patreon.com forward slash Artosis. And uh, yeah, the link is in the description as well. Thanks to everyone who has supported over time because you guys, we were a partial sponsor for this tournament. And if there's another one, we're going to do that again. So thanks, guys. Now, game uh, starting to warm up a little bit. Scan going to get that lucky first scout off. Motive, on the other hand, going the wrong way with his probe. But as he gets up here, uh, he'll know that Scan is bottom left. Like, this is the exact timing that you're used to if they're next to you. So Motive will cross scout uh, to go to Scan's base here. Dragoon on the way. No Zealot was made, and that's like an important thing for Scan to check. He sees that range is on the way. He sees that, well, he knows that a Dragoon is on the way, right? <clears throat> so he'll pull this out before, you know, he'll pull this out around three minutes. <laughs> and you just, you don't want the Dragoon to pop out and get you. And he actually starts a bunker right away. So this will probably be a two Marine bunker then. If you start a bunker that early, it's because you don't want to make the third Marine. So basically... You're going to buy the bunker anyways. And if you have the bunker, you don't need three Marines. So a Dragoon beats two Marines, but three Marines and a Dragoon basically equalize each other. <clears throat> uh, so, like, if, you know, you can go either way. You could make three Marines here, like, in this type of situation where there's no Zealot. I make three Marines, personally, and I go for the bunker later. But he's decided to just go for that bunker. And, in fact, he built it really far out to make it harder to scout his, his command center. But... Motive will scout. This is only two Marines in there, so it's not that big a deal. Yeah, he pops his head in. He sees that it's being made. And let's see where Scan goes from here. Of course, he's got that additional depot going up. He has... Oh! Is he going to get speed? No, he goes mines. Okay. So basically what this build has done for him, guys. Uh, if you, you know, if you go for the three Marine expansion with the later bunker, you make a vulture. It's called a vulture expand uh, without the add-on. So what he did was he skipped one Marine to get the bunker quicker, which allowed him to go for the add-on quicker, which means that that mine upgrade will be done 19 seconds faster than normal, right? 
or it could be even just slightly more than that but basically that's the build time of a vulture right so he, he's just he's pushing his mind's upgrade forward in this game which actually might be very important my dramatic zoom in as I accidentally zoomed to the side as well. Citadel of the Dune. It looks like a DT rush is coming out of motive. Now, this could be a DT rush or a DT drop. I feel like DT drop has actually gotten a little bit more popular lately. And I'm not sure why. It might have to do with uh, the popularity of the five fact. Uh, Templar tech in general is, is pretty reasonable against five factory. Uh, and obviously, you know, we've, we saw the evolution of Arbiters really coming back in the metagame because that's really good against five factory plays. And, you know, the DT opener can be good as well. Uh, just having invisible units makes attacking hard to do. <laughs> it's a pretty simple, straightforward thing when you think about it. Now, the Dragoon actually walks through the mines there. If he walks through another mine, you know that DTs are on the way. Like, once you're once you get hit by a mine... Okay, see, he just did it again. Okay. Scan better be making detection. He better make more uh, more mines and everything, too. Because when your opponent starts just walking through mines, normally what happens is you lay mines. If they accidentally hit one, they'll hold position everything and wait for their observer, right? Because they don't want to lose more. And that's not what we're seeing. I think Motive might actually just win this game really quickly. A Zealot is coming as well to walk through any mines that there are. Scan going to lay some more uh, some more mines. The mines are going to have to be the, the detection because he doesn't like he has an eBay on the way, but it's not ready. <clears throat> some decent micro here. Where are those DTs? OK, here they come. Scan doing one of these standard three tank pushes. But he again, he doesn't have a lot of mines. He doesn't have a lot of detection. More vultures are being made. That's very common. That's very normal. DTs will come up and they can. Act, he should put one DT on the tanks. Realistically. Now, notice how he's walking around with these units. Scan actually is going to catch them with mines. Oh, very good mine hits. Is Scan the perfect human? <laughs> it might, maybe, maybe. Whoever's the best uh, Terran vs. Protoss player at a given moment, in my opinion, is the perfect human. Uh, <laughs> but he's, he's defended this really seamlessly. The initial Dragoons that Motive made really didn't do anything. Ooh, nice block. I actually didn't see that. I'm like, just run in. No. Invisible man blocking. Gateway making the rest of the wall. Oh, he did get one in. Oh, that's annoying. Scan not microing here. Uh, unfortunate. He definitely could have gotten a few more kills, but Dragoons were popping out anyways. Okay, so right now Scan is up by three workers. He's getting his academy. Realistically, he should throw down a command center. Uh... This, like, I... Okay, so... A lot of units got wasted by motive. Okay? That's for sure. Now, when your opponent wastes a lot of units, it makes you want to attack them. I get it. I'm a Terran player. I feel that way. But, whenever they go Templar tech, it is my honest opinion... Oh, my God. He canceled the gate and made an observatory, and it's not tight. Oh! He traps three of them? He traps three and two get in. Now, the two that get in are actually going to get some pretty reasonable damage here. That's a big sacrifice of vultures, though. That is a big sacrifice of vultures. He just spent like five, six vultures there and didn't actually get... He almost got a ton of probes. Like, that was close to like... That could have been... If all of them get in, man, that game probably ends. Okay, I want to go back to what I was talking about before about how he should make a command... Okay, he does make a command center. So, Scan gets it. Well, of course he gets it, right? He should. But not everyone does this right now. I think... Uh, so, my, my opinion is... Uh, ooh! Uh, I think, basically, if your opponent opens with uh, Templar tech, like, very early Templar tech, whether it's a, you know, DT drop, Dark Templar, Quick Psy Storm, uh, you know, uh, Arbiter, any of that, you should just expand. Because, like... It's just Templar Tech is very good at stopping things from killing them because they just run you out of scans, basically. Now, it comes in with a shuttle. You only had a single DT in there, uh, but, you know, it, I guess it stopped that turret for a moment. Allows him to get some scouting. He sees that third command center. Scan right now, laying some mines around. I think this is a great way for him to play it. He's adding quite a few factories. He's got his armory going. This is beautiful, beautiful play. Now, over on Motive's side, you know, Motive chose a strategy here that... It is a little bit risky, right? Sometimes you get a free win. 
Sometimes you'll get bashed. Sometimes it'll be somewhere in between. This is like disadvantage, basically, is what I'm what I want to call it, right? Uh, the DT rush didn't do what he was hoping. He actually didn't really stop the push all that well. He's picked off some vultures. You know, he lost some probes, but he's 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 okay. Fifty six probes. He's doing pretty well. I definitely like Scan's position, but again, it is playable here for Motive. But he's going to have to play it really well. And you can see he brings a DT and a probe up here. I love that. He brings the shuttle up while he's waiting for shuttle speed. And makes the Nexus like that, because he needs a fourth base. And, you know, there's vultures out in the map and mines everywhere. So, like, Scan's ready to snipe probes. For sure he's ready for that. That was really smart. Wow! Like, you see it sometimes, but it feels like this was the perfect situation. And he's, again, waiting for that shuttle speed. He's gone into Reaver Tech. It looks like he wants to go shuttle-heavy play. You know, the mass shuttle, Psy Storm drops, that type of thing, the battling Protoss. I think that's a, a good choice here. You know, the choices after a DT opener are, like, Gateway Man, Arbiter, and uh, Psy Storm, obviously. Right? Those are kind of the things that you're looking at. Uh, and the fact that he's gone into Psy Storm, I think that this is... Probably the best follow-up overall. Although I don't mind the Arbiter follow-up either. I think I think actually Gateway Man into Arbiter can be very good as well. Like where you just go heavy, heavy Gateway to make sure you don't die. And then you just pop down a bunch of Arbiters. Like two Stargate Arbiter type thing. That's actually kind of a scary build. Anyways, uh, right now he's clearing the edges a little bit. You see some Vulture rotations. I'm trying to catch these little movements that are happening. But none of them are very impactful. This is the next thing that could be very impactful. Speed is done. Psystorm is actually just barely not done. <laughs> I don't know if he checked. <laughs> Maybe one turret made him run away. This is actually a pretty good setup from Scan. It's not perfect. He can still lose SCVs there for sure. I think if he sees that there's shuttle speed, you start putting down a few more turrets, a few more mines everywhere. By the way, I love this setup here. He's making like a hard wall where to attack into here would be super, super foolish. The way he's building this tells me he's going to take this as his fourth base and go up to the north. I don't think he'll push through here and then up here. He might. He might. He left a hole to do that. So there is a possibility he pushes in this direction. But this kind of looks to me like he wants this area to be secured to take a fourth here and then push into the center and hold the center. So anyways, he does a Vulture Drop in the main base. Very nice Vulture Drop. It looks like Motive was not expecting this. He has that one kind of standard cannon in there to defend. And he's flying around with a shuttle. That's not really doing very much, but uh, does end up clearing that. Loses quite a few probes. Still 68 probes. Totally fine. Scan sitting tight on 70 SCVs. That's really the top end of what you want SCV-wise. Very, very, very top end of it for this matchup. Like, really, it's more like 65 is what you're looking for, but 70 is fine. Now, another uh, little vulture move in there, but doesn't really get anything done. Everything gets caught pretty easily. Okay, where are we at? Fourth Nexus is up in mining. Both sides on 70 workers. A little bit more on pro production here. Uh, you know, for, uh, for motive. And again, for Protoss, a lot of times, like a more functional probe count would be around 65. And then, like, a more aggressive probe count might be 55. And then, like, the I want to suck up all the resources in the map and never actually have a full engage is is 70 plus. <laughs> Little probe, I mean, uh, Vulture Harass again. My God, Scan's getting a lot of them in. But the funny thing is, when your opponent is making this many probes, they literally don't care about that. It's actually completely fine. And it keeps, it artificially keeps your supply lower. Because it's like you're trading almost units for units. At this point, the probes are like units because he has so many. It's not like you're doing damage. It's not like you're bringing down to 50 probes and he's not mining efficiently. He's got 73 probes, right? So killing those is not actually that helpful. Another uh, vulture drop comes out. And, I mean, he keeps doing this, right? The amount of vultures he's spent harassing, he would be maxed out now. Yeah, maybe Motive would be maxed out as well, but I just want to put that out there as, as some information. It's like a non-intuitive thing about some of this Vulture harassment. He's like, not only the supply that it costs you, but when they have a super high probe count, harassment is not actually very good. It's almost better to just leave them on those probes and just count on having a better army, but you can't always tell how many probes they have either. That's actually very hard to tell. You'd have to scan every Nexus 
and all at the same time, right? And that's not actually useful usage of scans. Anyways, whatever, enough talk of that. Scans starting to move out. So as anticipated, he's set up this very hard area to break and he's moving to the north here. Yeah, there's that fourth command center. So this will be his fourth. And here we go. It looks like a little bit of an engage. The Zealot's coming in. He's got to get those size storms off. No, he should turn around. This is not a good engage right now for Motive. Not a good engage at all. Okay, loses his shuttle. Uh, the Psy Storm's not really reaching what they need. Very bad trade from Motive. Very bad trade. Excellent defense there from Scan, who's already on his 2-1 upgrades. Now, I was going to pose the question, will Scan push to the center, or will he hold this area and kind of go up the side a little bit? But after you lose an army like that, Scan has to push. He's obligated to push right now. He knows his opponent is much lower. Beautiful pullback against the Psy Storm. This is the moment that Motive needs to hit good, good Psy Storms in. Right? He's got to battle well. It's really, really important there. Makes an Archon for really no reason I can determine in the center of the map. I think this is just him doing things automatically right there. Because that was never going to finish. Probably better to just bring those back with you. Uh, but yeah. More gates being added. More gates being added in that top right. Scan continuing his push forward. Really, really looking dominating right now. Some storms going to go down. Scan's army is just so high quality, and Motive's having a hard time getting his army together. You know, it's too bad. Like, really, I think that that one push here was... was Like, he's going to lose. Scan's almost to the natural. When you get up to the natural in a position like this, you kill the natural, you stop reinforcements, and the third base is right there, so you kill it as well. So Scan is, like, about to kill two bases and stop reinforcements. There's still shuttles, so maybe there's still some play left here for, for Motive, who also has added gates up here and, in fact, is now adding more, realizing that he's not going to be able to rally out of this base. Definitely a bad spot, though. Look at this. Just sends a few tanks over here, sets up his vessel for that vision. Everything looking rough. Really, I tell you, it was the game was, like, uh, pretty reasonable. Like, Scan was certainly ahead, but that attack just didn't make sense for Motive. Like, he, he had a battle-based army. He was, like, kind of attacking into way too much with way too good of upgrades. Uh, just didn't feel like a very, very good attack. It's like some Dragoons get over there somehow. Got cleaned up very easily. We don't really see very much anti-air. So the shuttles will do whatever they want in here. Maybe if he can drag some mines in. But it seems like everything's going pretty poorly. GG is called, and that means Scan will take game number one. GG, thanks for watching.